All right, welcome in. This is NBA Now by Chat Sports. Chase Senior here with you. No matter where you are or how you're tuned in, thank you so much for making today's show a part of your day. A lot to talk about on today's program. First, though, it's all sponsored to you by Mint Mobile. They're changing the cell phone game with plans as low as $15 per month. You may have heard of them before. It's the cell phone company owned by the famous actor Ryan Reynolds who starred in a bunch of great films. And this deal is great for you. You can start saving money today by heading to mintmobile.com slash chatsports. Digital eSIM card that they'll send to you so you don't have to actually travel to a store. You don't have to change your cell phone number or get a new physical phone. And Mint Mobile living, hanging out on America's largest 5G network. One more time, it's mintmobile.com slash chat sports. You can start saving that cash today on America's largest and best 5G network. We'll get the official show started here in about 10 minutes, but up until that point, we're going to chop it up. We're just going to go back and forth. I want to give shout outs to all of our loyal subscribers and the people who we deem to be real ones. Those who are subscribed, who support everything that we do here at Chat Sports, those of you who have your notifications turned on, and I want to know where you're watching from. So right now, get the comment section popping off. Which country are you tuned in from? We're coming to you from Dallas, Texas, in the great country of America, the United States. But where are you? Noah Travis, I love you. I love you too. Hearts. Yo, Chat Sports from Latino. Yo, the basketball goat. What's up, Chase? Noah Travis showing love. My guy, I appreciate it. We love Chase from the basketball goat. Jody is in Belgium. Thomas Schmitz. Yo, Jordy in Belgium. Joseph, Guam, USA from Thomas. Brandon, USA. Hi, hi. Jason, Los Angeles. Jan Rivera, Miami. Australia from the basketball goat. Get a put some shrimp on the bobby, mate. Sup, Mississippi, P17. BJ Jackson, Tennessee. That's funny because my pops grew up in Australia. Now he lives in Tennessee. How about it? Miami, Jan Rivera. USA from BJ Jackson. Six games is a joke. Next from Sexy Hot Siren. What a name right there. NFL appealing, though. You're talking about Deshaun Watson. It could be what we're hearing right now. Maybe a year-long suspension for Deshaun Watson. H-Town, Texas from Marcus. About what? Five, six hours away from here, from us here in Dallas? Yeah. So down south, downstate as some other people might say. Let's see. Los Angeles, California from Stuart Pierce. On our Rumble Only segment, I hope you join us for our After Hours show Going live exclusively on Rumble, no worries, after our YouTube show wraps up. We're going to talk about the latest NBA news and rumors around Kevin Durant maybe going to the Memphis Grizzlies. But before that, we are going to take a look at the top 30 2023 NBA free agents. The class is as loaded as any free agency class that we've seen in recent memory. And as part of that segment, we're going to have a conversation. LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, next offseason. They might be able to land that rookie contract max extension. So if you had to pick one to pay, if you're running an organization, you want this player for the next 5, 10 years, who are you riding with? LaMelo Ball type L, the Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, Bo Cruz, and the homies type A for Anthony Edwards. I thought Hustle the movie was actually really good. Basketball Goat going Ant, Thomas Schmitz, LaMelo, Guillermo, Edwards. Gerard Wilson, Ant-Man. Jan Rivera going with Anthony Edwards. Thomas, still riding L. Blaze 2K, LaMelo. I'm going Anthony Edwards. And I actually don't think it's close, Producer Coop. Chime in here. Why do you think it's close? Man, I think they both have great impacts on their team, and they're both going to be, I think, honestly, multi-time All-Stars in the NBA. I but agree. I think LaMelo, LaMelo's passing ability might be a little bit more than Edwards, able to get his teammates involved more. I think I'd go Edwards, but it's close. Yeah, I'm going Edwards. I think you more so win championships and compete for championships at that wing position. And his game, I just think, is more well-rounded as compared to LaMelo Ball. I think he has more defensive upside as well. His shot-making ability is really special from beyond the arc. And I don't think LaMelo has that in his toolbox. But I'm going Anthony Edwards. A lot of people in the comment section going Anthony Edwards as well. God 
Noah Travis all over LaMelo. Brandon Roan, LaMelo. LaMelo is cold from Thomas Schmitz. He is. He's no question cold, but I'd just rather go Anthony Edwards. I think he's the better player. To kick off the show, Bobby Marks, ESPN NBA expert, did say today in an article on ESPN, keep an eye on the Cleveland Cavaliers for LeBron James to go to if he does not re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers and he becomes a free agent in 2023. So as you look forward, as you project forward, you look at the future of both rosters, both organizations, which team is the best spot for LBJ? Round three in Cleveland, another reunion, or should he stick it out with the Los Angeles Lakers? Type LAL in the comment section. I think Cleveland's a better squad. I think they're better positioned to have success in the future. So what do you think right now? Also, that is our live poll right now. Extremely close. 51% of the votes, Cavaliers. 49% of the votes, Los Angeles Lakers. As for the comment section, and of course, make sure you get your votes in on our live poll. Totes McGoats, Lakers. BJ Jackson, Cleveland. Corey Childs, Lakers. Thomas, Cleveland. Neither from Rashard Lee. Brian Cruz, Miami Heat. He'd be really good on Miami. They'd be able to take the pressure off of him where he wouldn't have to play 70, 80 games per year like he has had to do in the past to carry his teams. Cleveland, he will have a good point guard, shooting guard, and center from Blaze 2K. That roster is really good. We'll take a look at it coming up right around the corner. Also going to be doing two mailbags. Send it in, Jerome! Use the hashtag NBA or Super Chat to get your questions popped up and featured on the show. Also, if you have a hot take, you want to Super Chat us that, we'll relay that to the audience in front of thousands and thousands of people, and we'll be able to get those takes featured on the program as well. But you have to use the hashtag NBA or Super Chat us for you to be involved in our mailbags. That allows producer Coop to see your supers, to see your messages. If you don't super by using the hashtag NBA, he'll be able to pop that up on the screen. And if we get $50 in total on today's live show, I'm talking total, not one Super Chat. Everybody can kind of chime in with $5 here and there. $50 in total Super Chats, I will shotgun a beer. I have two beers right here. I'll crack a beer for the first Super Chat. That's of at least $5. And then once we get to $50 in Super Chats total, I will shotgun a beer. Let's rally. Let's party. It's the middle of the week. We're trying to get past hump day. Let's do it together. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, going to be going live exclusively on Rumble for our After Hours segment. Could the Memphis Grizzlies swoop in and trade for Kevin Durant? An interesting trade idea floated out there by an ESPN basketball personality. As for what that trade is, we'll talk about it. As for what the Grizzlies might give up, we'll dissect that and break that down. But in a separate browser right now, you see the link at the bottom of your screen, rumble.com slash NBA now. Just open up a separate tab and throw that link in there. Therefore, once our YouTube show wraps up, we'll go live exclusively on Rumble, and you can just filter right over, and you can join us on Rumble. Let's get ready to Rumble, you already know. If you're ready to start today's show, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. To give you a peek inside what we're dealing with here at Chat Sports today, Deshaun Watson, his suspension just appealed by the NFL, so it could be longer than the six-game suspension that was recommended by Judge Sue Robinson. So Petey had to do a quick video on that. Harrison Graham talking Chicago Bears. Cowboys just signed linebacker and former first-round pick Anthony Barr. So Tom Downey is live. Marshall Green is live on New York Knicks now. Mitchell Renz was just doing a bunch of NBA videos, we have, or NFL videos. We have people chiming in behind the scenes, and we're live on NBA now. We are ready to go, and we're doing it all for you, the homies. So hit that thumbs up icon, like the video, if you're ready to start today's show. Coming up on NBA Now, latest news and rumors all around the NBA. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, James Harden, Golden State Warriors, Philadelphia 76ers, all that and more. We'll take a look ahead to the top 30 2023 NBA free agents, and we'll be doing two mailbags where you can join the show by using the hashtag NBA. Also, in case you're just joining us, $50 in total on today's show. 
I will shotgun a beer. We will party to celebrate hump day and we'll get through this week together. Even though for me, I love coming into work every single day because I get to interact with people like you, people tuned in from all across the globe. Can we get the 50 likes before we start? We're at 45 right now. If we get the 69, we'll make Tom Downey even happier. He'll really like that. So hit that thumbs up icon, like the video. If you're ready to start today's show, I'm looking for at least 50 likes. We're at 46 right now, up to 47. Little bit of a delay. Chua Lore getting in that question for our upcoming two mailbags. Chua always knows what's to do. Uh, just follow his lead. But you see all of this? That's what we're getting to today and more. So without further ado, NBA Country, let's ride. All right, here we go. This is NBA Now by Chat Sports. Chase Senior here with you. Hope all of you watching today are having a fantastic week. And no matter where you're tuned in or how you're tuned in, thank you so much for making Chat Sports a part of your day. Today's show, sponsored, by the way, by Mint Mobile. On America's largest 5G network, it has range coast to coast like a Steph Curry three-pointer. And they're changing the cell phone game with plans as low as $15 per month. Start saving money today by heading to mintmobile.com slash chat sports, and you'll be able to start saving some cash on America's largest 5G network, Mint Mobile. I'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. So on today's show, we're getting all to all the latest. NBA news and rumors around Kevin Durant, around LeBron James, and Coop, if we need to restart because somebody messed up our graphics, we can do that as well. Doing a live show here in our main studio, and people are trying to just move graphics into the studio, and they're cucking what we're trying to do, but it's all good. We'll continue to keep it moving here. Not sure who the culprit is moving graphics into the main studio, but we're going to have to do a little bit of a reboot and get some of our graphics back. In the meantime, because we don't take commercial breaks and we deal with some of these issues from time to time, and we just keep it moving, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Going to give some shout outs to some of the people. This is what you get when you don't take commercial breaks because people move our graphics out and, hey, we still keep it moving. Jarrell Totes Magoats, Bankroll046 on the chat right now. So too is Gallo, Thomas Schmitz, Basketball Goat, and Unlimited Range. Thanks to everybody for supporting the program. We're about to get started. Had to do a little bit of a pump fake and switch it up on you. Which country are you watching from? Let's get it started once again. Health and fitness. Cavs need LeBron. Bankroll 046 saying, yes, sir. Health and fitness. Texas country. We are coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. Chualore, Hamilton City, California. The Basketball Goat, Australia. Band and Roan, USA. God, tuned in from Taiwan. San Francisco Bay Area from Totes Magoats. LFX in the house. Lion Fighter X, my man, big supporter of Philadelphia 76ers now. Jarrell, Philippines, St. Louis from Guillermo. LeBron to the Sixers from 30 racks. That right there would be pretty interesting. They're equipped to win a championship. You bring in LeBron and, yeah, it maxis ma maximizes your window over the next year or two. But it certainly would be interesting. That's, of course, if LeBron James decides to leave the Los Angeles Lakers Starting, I think, today, he can sign that contract extension with Los Angeles. If he doesn't, set to be a free agent in 2023. Thomas Schmitz, Elver G, Lil Karn, the basketball goat, Blaze 2K, Mr. Syrup, Ven Jeffrey, all in the chat. Do appreciate you guys for rocking and rolling with us and making chat sports and NBA now a part of your day. A lot to discuss on today's show. LeBron James. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, 2023 NBA free agency class, which is as deep as any free agency class that we have ever, ever seen. Just looking at what people are saying about LeBron here before we officially get started. Mr. Sierra Pans, LeBron retires a Laker. Obviously, he has all those business ties to L.A. Lion Fighter X starting off the Super Chat game. We'll get that on the screen here in just a little while. And that means that 
I'll be able to crack a beer. We get to $50 in total. And yes, I will shotgun a beer. That's $50 in total. And we'll shotgun a beer on NBA now because we ain't never scared. Here is that $5 super chat from the real one, the homie, Lion Fighter X. Let's go chat sports, nothing but real ones. That's become a little bit of our brand, real ones, because we like to keep it a buck. We like to keep it real. And everybody who supports what we do and the movement that is chat sports and the rocket ship that we're on, you're a real one as well. So again, here's another reminder of what we're talking about on the show today. Latest news and rumors around the NBA pertaining to Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, all that and a lot more. We'll take a look at the top 30 2023 NBA free agents and we'll be doing two mailbags. Get those questions in. Hashtag NBA or Super Chat. Just got our first Super Chat in from Lion Fighter X. That means that I can crack the beer. $50 in total or shotgun. And right now, 69 likes. Very nice. Continue to hit that thumbs up icon like the video. Octo G, watching from Southeast Asia. We have people watching from everywhere. You absolutely love to see it. It's part of the cool thing about what we do here at Chat Sports is that people literally do watch us from all across the globe. Cheers to Lion Fighter. All right, we're now about to get started after a little bit of a hiccup there. But hey, technological difficulties, we plow right through it like a plow truck in a snowstorm. Those living in the Northeast and the Midwest, you know all about that. Not in Dallas, Texas. They don't even have plow trucks and salt trucks. It's crazy. You get an inch of snow and the entire city shuts down. It happened last winter. And myself and Petey, we had to drive to Whole Foods. That was the only damn place in the city that had food for us so that we could eat some lunch. Math learning, you're not going to get me to say that. Come on now. Bankroll, Chicago Bears. I'm sure you're subscribed to Chicago Bears now. My boy Harrison Graham holding it down on that channel. He's got it popping once again. Lion Fighter. Great support in the chat. Be like Lion Fighter and show us some love. Okay, we had a little bit of a pump fake. That's the NFL pump fake. This is the NBA pump fake. Now, let's talk Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and all of these crazy and wild free agency rumors right now on NBA Now. Do you want to do that intro screen so that you can just edit it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can just do that. So we'll get to that coming up right around the corner with almost 200 people watching live. By the way, two mailbags today. You see what to do right here. I'm like a weatherman. Hashtag NBA or Super Chat. You can start getting those questions in right now. And we get to $50 in Super Chats in total. I'm shotgunning a beer. We are $45 away from that mark. So now, without further ado, let's get it popping. NBA country, let's ride right now. All right, here we go. You're watching NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Hope all of you watching are having a fantastic week. And no matter how you're tuned in or where you're tuned in from, thank you so much for making NBA Now a part of your day. Before we dive into the latest NBA news and rumors around LeBron James and Kevin Durant, today's show is sponsored by Mint Mobile. On America's largest 5G network, which has great range from coast to coast, like a Steph Curry three-point ball, they're also changing the game with cell phone plans as little as $15 per month. Start saving money today by heading to mintmobile.com slash chat sports. I'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. So we begin with Kevin Durant, then we'll pivot to LeBron James. A lot of fascinating stuff going on on that front. According to reports, Kevin Durant set to meet with Nets ownership this week as that trade request lingers. And he is set to meet with Joe Tsai to discuss what's going to happen next with this Brooklyn Nets organization. And that Kevin Durant trade request is still out there, but the market up to this point a little bit stagnant and slow. So reports to catch you up on this coming from Heavy. Durant going to meet with the owner Joe Tsai this week. He's still unhappy about a couple of things that have transpired since he signed that contract and that next deal with the Brooklyn Nets. That's obviously the future of Kyrie Irving also up in the air. And it's unknown right now, according to 
sources within the organization and close to Kevin Durant about whether or not these issues are going to get fixed. Now, if you think about it from the franchise's perspective and Kevin Durant's perspective, who has the power right now? It seems as though it's Brooklyn that has some of the leverage here. Why is that? Kevin Durant entering the first year of his max contract, and the Nets, in my opinion, have actually built a pretty good roster around KD. So if the trade request doesn't come to reality, and Kevin Durant is able to patch up some of the malcontents that he has with this organization and some of the issues that he had with the Nets and he goes back to Brooklyn this right here folks is a pretty good roster this is my best swing and guess at what the starting five would be it would be one of the top 10 starting fives in the NBA Kyrie Irving Joe Harris with some shooting, Kevin Durant, a walking bucket on all three levels, Nicholas Claxton, a serviceable big man who re-signed in free agency to hold it down, down low, and then Ben Simmons in that Draymond Green role, which is what I would use him as if I'm head coach Steve Nash, offers this team a lot especially versatility on the offensive and defensive end, one of the league's best defenders still, and an elite passer to set up the shooter Joe Harris and Kyrie Irving, as well as Kevin Durant. And then what the Nets have done just building the roster elsewhere, trading for Royce O'Neal, bringing in TJ Warren. They re-signed Patty Mills, who was top five in three-point percentage last year. They also have Seth Curry, who's one of the best marksmen from downtown as well. And for Durant, he could still play at a really, really elite level. Obviously, the concern this past year, the year before that, and the previous history that we've seen with KD as he gets a little bit older and the mileage racks up on the legs, he's been a little bit injury prone. Foot issues, knee issues. So at 34 years old, entering the first year of that max contract that he signed last offseason, a little bit of a concern about how he ages, but the Nets right now, they have the leverage in my opinion. They don't have to trade away KD. They don't have to trade away Kyrie Irving because Durant signed the deal, Kyrie opted in, and they have made win-now moves that KD and Kyrie should be happy about. So it would be a good basketball situation for KD to go back to New York and play in Brooklyn once again. Now we talked about that lineup, the starting five, as well as some of those bench pieces, where do you think the Nets rank among all teams operating under the premise that KD and Kyrie return? There are 30 teams in the NBA, so rank where the Nets would be from 1 to 30 with KD and Kyrie. Coming up next on the show, an ESPN NBA expert said, keep an eye on LeBron James reuniting with the Cleveland Cavaliers for the third time if he doesn't re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers and becomes a free agent in 2023. Can't wait to dive into that, but first, today's show is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Unlimited premium wireless plan starting as low as $15 per month. You may have heard of them before. It's a cell phone company owned by the famous actor Ryan Reynolds who has starred in a bunch of great films. Those films, just as good as America's largest 5G network, which is where Mint Mobile service hangs out. What's also cool about Mint Mobile, digital eSIM card, so you don't have to waste your time by going to a store and having to wait in line for your phone to get activated. You also don't have to get a new cell phone number or a new physical phone, and you get unlimited talk and text. Start saving money today by going to mintmobile.com slash chat sports. We'll pepper that link in the comment section and the description of this video. Next up on the show, what's next for LeBron James? He is eligible to sign a two-year, $97 million contract extension with the Los Angeles Lakers here in early August. If he doesn't, he can become an unrestricted free agent in 2023. As for the contractual fine print details, the two-year term is the maximum allowed under the collective bargaining agreement. If agreed to, LeBron James would bump up his career earnings to $532 million, which is the highest grossing ever for an NBA player, which down the road is going to get overtaken as the NBA becomes a more richer league, as the salary cap continues to rise, and as these contracts in continue to increase as well. But either way, half a billion dollars in playing earnings, not entering the equation is that Nike deal, all the other endorsements, and all the other money that he's making in his business acquisitions as well. And this is also interesting. 
if LeBron doesn't re-sign with the, uh, with the Los Angeles Lakers. It opens up an opportunity for LeBron to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. There is something special brewing in Cleveland right now, and according to that aforementioned NBA expert with ESPN, keep an eye on the Cleveland Cavaliers to swoop in and maybe sign LeBron James if he goes back home for a third reunion with Cleveland. The team, really, really good. Led by Darius Garland, first time All-Star last year. Jarrett Allen had a breakout campaign. Evan Mobley is like a mini Giannis in my opinion. They have a really good complimentary cast of some really, really good players, both as starters and as bench players. And according to Bobby Marks, he said, don't rule out the Cavs if LeBron decides to not re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers. And this is interesting on a couple of fronts. LeBron James is thinking about his legacy. Steph Curry has four rings. LeBron James has four rings. It's becoming more and more of a conversation that Steph Curry might be the best player of this generation. We know that LeBron James has been chasing Michael Jordan's six NBA championships, Kobe Bryant's five. Now he's tied with Steph Curry, and that thought has entered the equation, and in the mind of LeBron James, that Curry might be deemed as the better player of this generation. And LeBron, if he looks at the Los Angeles Lakers being in a precarious position moving forward with the lack of players and the lack of draft assets and the inability to improve the roster to chase championships, well, the Cleveland Cavaliers seem like a perfect destination for him. Has familiarity with the organization. It'd be a great story, him going back home to Cleveland for a third time in a reunion. The Cavaliers, from their standpoint, wouldn't have to give up any of their really attractive young assets because LeBron would be a free agent. They wouldn't have to trade for him to gut that roster. Very, very fascinating stuff. And of course, we'll continue to keep you up to date with all things going down on the NBA front. For the best NBA coverage, 365, you got to hit that red sub button down below or head to that link, youtube.com slash TV. And if you are subscribed to the channel, I want to hear from you because we have a saying here at Chat Sports. We like to work and we like to act as though we are real ones. We keep it honest. We do our best to give you the best coverage, and for those of you to show us that support, you're a real one. So type real one if you're subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, you ain't a real one. Become one right now by hitting that red sub button. As for what Bobby Marks had to say about the King, until a James extension is signed in Los Angeles, the Cleveland Cavaliers should be a team to keep an eye on next offseason. Cleveland doubled its win total from two years ago to this past year, 22-42, to 42, and was one of the best success stories last year despite losing in the play-in tournament. The Cavaliers have a strong nucleus consisting of Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen, and could have more than $30 million in cap space in 2023. Would James return for a third tenure in Cleveland if he views the Lakers roster as not championship worthy? Keep an eye on it. Best spot for LeBron James. When you talk about those two teams and the future of both organizations, what is it? CLE for Cleveland, LAL for the Los Angeles Lakers. Sound off, chime in and join the conversation right now in the comments section. And if you have any questions about anything on the NBA front, let me know. Hit me up on my social media accounts, at Chase underscore Senior. It's the same handle on both Twitter as well as Instagram. I got to be honest, you hit me up with a Twitter mention, I'll be more likely to respond because it's just easier to see. Either way, you want to chop it up. Life advice as well, at Chase underscore Senior. Can't wait to hear from a lot of you. Give me a follow right now. Okay, we'll give you some shout outs here. More than 300 people watching live. Bankroll, LeBron to Chicago. Man, wouldn't that be a story? Following in the footsteps of Michael Jordan, Luciano, Cleveland. What move should the Clippers make? I actually think they have a top 10 roster in the NBA. They don't really need to make any more roster additions. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George back healthy. My goodness, they could be a problem. Lakers are trash from bankroll. Brandon Roan, Los Angeles Lakers. Basketball goat tuned in from Australia, getting that question in for one of our mailbags. Yes, sir. Also, in addition to mailbags, we'll be going live exclusively on Rumble to talk about whether or not the Memphis Grizzlies could swoop in and make a Kevin Durant trade. They do have trade assets to give up to appeal to Brooklyn that's potentially a pretty fascinating trade idea that lingers out there in the NBA rumors atmosphere. $50 in total, Super Chats, and I will shotgun a beer on NBA now. We have $5 so far. No worries. We just started the show. $50 in total. 
from all of you watching live right now. We'll have some fun. We'll celebrate hump day. We'll get through this week together, and we're going to party on a Wednesday afternoon. $50 in Super Chats, NBA Country. Let's ride. Jordy Marteau, RIP Bill Russell. Seriously. What he had to go through in that era was just historic, and for him at the time, tough to deal with. He is the ultimate champion at the high school, college, and NBA level. He never lost a do-or-die game in the NBA playoffs, which is crazy. What he did socially for America at that point when he was at the peak of his powers and the peak of his influence really was incredible. And as just a downright champion and a coach and a player, Bill Russell, one of one, completely special. We will never see an athlete like that ever again. Days Hip Hop, Warriors don't want that bum. Cleanthus, how much money will the Lakers have to spend for next offseason? It depends what they do with some of the contracts on that roster. They'll free up a lot of money if Russell Westbrook ends up leaving or if they just trade him away throughout this offseason. Has that player option this year, $47.1 million. So, Shea. Oganubi, he's also in the chat. Good to hear from you again. Jarrell, who the Warriors is going to sign? Wiggins or Poole, is it possible to sign both of them? Shout out to the Philippines. Shout out to everybody pushing P from the P. And I think they can sign both. Now, what does that mean for Draymond Green and his contract extension? Maybe you aren't able to pay all three of Draymond Green, Jordan Poole, and Andrew Wiggins. But I also don't think that Joe Lacob really cares about the luxury tax. I think he just wants to win championships. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters for him. Gallo, shout out from the Armenians. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Sam, hi, love you, bro. Love you too, Sam, appreciate it. I'm not talking to the Sam to my right, I'm talking to the Sam in the chat, but I love Sam to my right as well. Helps us out greatly here at Chat Sports. What's up next, brother? Sack? NBA mailbag coming your way. $50 in Super Chats. I'll shotgun a beer. We have $5 right now. So get those Super Chats in. Also, by Super Chatting us, guarantee you that we will answer your questions. Also, use the hashtag NBA if you don't want to send us a donation to help us feed our families. But let's kick off this mailbag right now. Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports, coming your way on today's show. A mailbag where I take all of your questions and you get to join the conversation and share any basketball thoughts that you have. This is why you subscribe to the channel by hitting that red sub button down below so that you too can join our shows and be a part of the movement here at Chat Sports. We kick off this mailbag with this one coming in from Brad Winchester. More likely to make an impact on the Celtics, Noah Vonley or Bruno Caboclo? So I think it's Noah Vonley. I don't think that Bruno is going to make the roster. Noah Vonley, former lottery pick out of Indiana. Obviously, his NBA career didn't work out. Had a couple of flashes from time to time with the New York Knicks. He thought, okay, he's going to be able to carve out a spot in the rotation. But for a guy who didn't play at the NBA level last year and did play for the Shanghai Sharks, I don't expect him to really make the roster, nor do I expect Bruno to make this roster. This is a Celtics team that is so deep coming off that trip to the NBA finals and they added Danilo Gallinari they traded for Malcolm Brogdon Celtics have one of the best rosters in the NBA you don't really need Von Le or Bruno on that squad the basketball goat tuned in from Australia shout out to all of the Aussies out there where do you think that Paolo Bencaro Chet Holmgren and Jabari Smith will end up in their careers I'm working hard on the content as well you guys are too great work basketball goat pretty sure we exchanged Twitter DMs now that I know that you're from Australia Hit me up on Twitter, at Chase underscore Senior Producer Coop. You can pop that L3 up if you can. Hit me up, and if you're working on some content on your own YouTube channel because you're from Australia and I've been there many times because I have family there, hit me up. I'd like to help you out and hop on one of your shows. But talking about these rookies here, where to Paolo, Chet, Jabari stack up? Jabari Smith was my number one overall prospect on my big board. A little bit raw and unrefined in the NBA Summer League, but I just see elite traits across the board, especially defensively. Literally, all he has to do is develop his handle. That's something that he can work on. I think he has freakish talent, and I like the body. Paolo, NBA-ready game. I think he might be the most impactful rookie of these three. Could be a really good player down the road. Has a little bit of Chris Webber and Carmelo Anthony in his game. And for Chet Holmgren, 
the ability is there. He has tantalizing potential. The only worries I have about Chet Holmgren, it's the body. And how does he hold up throughout the rigors of an NBA season? Chualor, do you think that James Wiseman will be healthy? And should the Golden State Warriors sign Dwight Howard? I think James Wiseman will be healthy, at least the health checked out in the NBA Summer League. I thought he looked good in those four games. Protected the rim, ran the floor well, hit a couple of mid-range jumpers. I thought that lefty stroke was really smooth. Hit a couple of threes as well when he was left vacant from the outside. James Wiseman is so gifted and the most talented big that this Warriors franchise has had throughout this run. So I hope that he can stay healthy because it just makes a well-clicking unit even better and should the Warriors sign Dwight Howard? Why not for a cheap price? To back up Kavon Looney and James Wiseman, I'd be down for Dwight Howard coming to the Bay Area as a third string center. Yeah, he can still play, rebound the basketball, block shots, and give you veteran leadership and some defensive tenacity. Now, we've been talking a lot about LeBron James recently here at Chat Sports because if he doesn't re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers, he could go to another team in 2023 NBA free agency. So because... LeBron James has been on our minds. He is a top blank player of all time. Embrace debate. It is a classic debate. And let me know right now. Move ahead with this one from Slammin' Sixer. I like the name. What's the latest on my boy Tyrese Maxey? And how do you see him doing this year? So Sam Cassell, assistant coach for Philadelphia, who I actually think could step in really well for Doc Rivers if Doc Rivers were to be on the hot seat, if he were to get fired and let go. I think that Sam Cassell would be a very good option to take over for Doc Rivers as a future head coach in this league. And he raved about Tyrese Maxey very recently, that this guy is making all the right strides. Sam Cassell also complimented himself and said, every guard and every player that I develop, they end up getting better. And we've been able to see that with Maxey in his first two years. The jump that he made from year one to year two was flat out sensational. Last year in the playoffs, he was one of the best three-point shooters. And his three-point stroke and the numbers there from his rookie to sophomore campaign got even better. The game slowed down. I think he has defensive potential. Tyrese Maxey has all-star written all over him. In fact, I want to take him, I want to see him take yet another step with the Sixers this upcoming season and become more of a go-to offensive player alongside Joel Embiid. If you have that two-man game working between Embiid and Tyrese Maxey and then James Harden and Tobias Harris are the other offensive options, that's when I think the Sixers are at their best. And Tyrese Maxey, he has that ability to break the defense down and bail you out, something that the Sixers prior to last year really missed and Maxey gave that unit. Ball out 347, should the Warriors sign Andre Iguodala, can Jonathan Kaminga or James Wiseman become a star? It all comes down to whether or not Andre Iguodala wants to continue his NBA career. If he does, the Warriors, according to reports, have this roster spot vacant and left open for Andre Iguodala, who's been a great player for this Warriors team for a really long time. He's been a part of the equation that's helped lift them to four NBA championships, 2015 NBA Finals MVP, very good defender throughout his prime. He's not there anymore. And per night, he can give you five to 10 minutes. But as a guy who has a basketball junkie type of mentality, for a guy who loves the game, who doesn't want to be a coach, but can be a player coach now while his playing career continues, I'd be okay with Andre Iguodala coming back as the last man on this bench. You can certainly do worse. And he can help you through film study on the bench as kind of a voice in Steve Kerr's ear, and as a pretty good practice player as well. He's admitted that his body's starting to break down, so he doesn't have a lot left, but Andre Iguodala, he certainly still has value. Now, if you want to get a Warriors jersey, you can do that. If you want to get a jersey for any team in the NBA, you can do that. All 30 teams available if you head to chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. I'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. These jerseys, by the way, coming from Fanatics, Steph Curry, Jason Tatum. You want a LaMelo Ball jersey, he just changed his number so that you can get that at chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys as well. It's the summertime, and rocking a basketball jersey by the pool is always a good look. No matter how old you are, you're always looking swaggy. So get hooked up today. Some really good deals available in the middle of the summer. Chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. 
Jarrell tuned in from the Philippines. Can the Warriors sign both Wiggins and Jordan Poole with a new contract? Shout out here from the Philippines. They can. I think that Joe Lacob is aggressive, and I think that Joe Lacob is willing to spend on this team. This is what he's done over the last several years. And in this Joe Lacob era, they've been able to win four championships, and they've been in the luxury tax quite often. So if they have to go into the tax once again to pay Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole with the new deal, I believe he will. What gets interesting here for Golden State, are they also willing to give Draymond Green a max deal? If they sign all three, they'll be at $400 million in payroll, which no team has ever come close to. But again, if you're selling out the arena, if you're selling jerseys, if you're driving revenue, driving a profit, and the Warriors continue to contend for NBA championships, you're getting that money back and you're still making a profit even if you're in the luxury tax. And for Joe Lacob and this organization, that is all that matters raising up more championship hardware. Evan Henders, Bulls trade a first and Kobe White from Mike Conley and Nikhil Alexander-Walker. So a first and Kobe White to unload him for Mike Conley and Nikhil Alexander-Walker. I don't think I'd do it. I think that Mike Conley is kind of done. And he's become more and more of a inefficient offensive player whose injury issues have also been a little bit of a concern over the last several years. So I wouldn't trade for Mike Conley. Now, Kobe White for another piece, maybe a 3 and D guy, I'd like that to bulk up what needs to be a better defense for Chicago if they have any hopes of making a deep playoff run. Lemon Pepper Lou, is this Lou Williams? Would the Lakers or Warriors consider signing Chris Stapps, Porzingis, Chris Middleton, or Harrison Barnes next year. So all three are set to be free agents in 2023. For the Lakers, I don't think you go Chris Stapps, Porzingis. You already have Anthony Davis, right? So why move off one injury-prone big for another in Chris Stapps? Chris Middleton would be interesting in a lineup with LeBron James as well as Anthony Davis, that's for sure. Playing at that wing spot as a guy who can kind of get a shot off from anywhere on the floor. Harrison Barnes, 3 and D guy who gives you more than that as a guy who can kind of put the ball on the floor a little bit and is a championship-level ingredient piece. I'd like that. Uh, Harrison Barnes, Chris Middleton, Chris Porzingis going to the Warriors. Financially, I don't think it's all that realistic, but we know that players take discounts to go to the dubs, and the Warriors will welcome anybody when it comes to trying to chase a championship. But look, uh, the Warriors are in a position right now where they're trying to retain some of their own players, and they're going to have to be, uh, give big contracts to Wiggins, Poole, Draymond. So I don't think they're going to prioritize signing any of those guys right there. A lot of investigations with tampering, by the way, going on in the NBA right now with the Philadelphia 76ers, the New York Knicks slash Dallas Mavericks in that pursuit of Jalen Brunson. Do you think that tampering in the NBA matters? M for matters, WC for who cares. I'm filing my WC because I frankly don't care at all and tampering happens at every business level in the world. Sad Mavs fan, top 2023 NBA free agents. Well, Mavs fan, you must be sad because the Mavs hasn't really done anything up to this point. As for the top 2023 NBA free agents, put together a list of 30 players who could be free agents in 2023. Of course, this doesn't include player options because those opt-outs haven't happened as well as contract extensions. So these are basically potential free agents. Some of these guys unrestricted, others restricted free agents, player options. So keep that in mind as we take a look at this list. It is a loaded list of names. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Draymond Green, James Harden, Andrew Wiggins, Chris Middleton, Fred Van Vliet, those POs standing for player options, RFA for DeAndre Hunter. He's going to be a restricted free agent. Vooch, also an unrestricted free agent, Christian Wood, Miles Turner, Tyler Hero, a restricted guy. Those are like the starter tier. Before that was the elite tier. This is the tier of quality starters who will be available on the 2023 free agency market. D'Angelo Russell entering a critical year going into the final year of his deal. R.J. Barrett, I think the Knicks want to keep him, and they might have to keep him if they don't trade him for Donovan Mitchell. Jeremy Grant, Harrison Barnes, Boyan Bogdanovich, Kyle Kuzma with the player option. Same with Chris Stapps Porzingis, Jordan Poole, restricted free agent. And then the key ingredient free agents. These are guys who are important pieces on a championship team. 
Bogdan Bogdanovich, Al Horford, Seth Curry. He could rise up these ranks for sure. P.J. Washington, Karis LeVert, Kevin Porter Jr., Reggie Jackson, Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams, and Dylan Brooks. And then more key ingredients, Brandon Clark, Brooke Lopez, Matisse Thibel, Jay Crowder, Cam Johnson, Josh Hart, Nasir Little, Jacob Pertle, Gary Trent Jr., and Will Barton. So you kind of got the sense there. It's a mouthful, and it is a deep and lengthy list stockpiled with some really, really quality players who will headline that 2023 NBA free agency class. Among that group, who do you think is the best free agent? It's going to be the final question in our mailbag, so let us know right now. Okay, we'll give you some shout-outs. More than 300 people tuned in. Still a lot to get to as a lot of people have joined the program. Keep it locked here on NBA Now. Still a lot to discuss. For now, I want to give some shout-outs to the people. Pick a young buck. L for LaMelo Ball. A for Anthony Edwards. Have a little bit of a break in between segments here. We'll give you some shout-outs in the meantime. Rogue Brothers, LaMelo. Jonathan Taylor, LaMelo. Anthony Edwards from Hubert. Thomas Schmitz, LaMelo, the Gold Eagle 99, Anthony Edwards. I'm going Anthony Edwards. I think wing, a little bit more important than point guard. I also think wing is just a better overall position that helps you win a championship. $2 Super Chat came in, Coop. So let's get that on the screen too. I'll take another sip of beer. What that means, we're $43 away from $50 in total of Super Chats. We get to $50 in Super Chats and I'll shotgun a beer right here on NBA Now. $2 Super Chat from Marcus Burns. Thank you, my guy, for your donation. See, Bankroll046 says, LaMelo, he's more well-rounded. I actually think Anthony Edwards, more well-rounded. Better three-point shooter, better athlete. The body type, I think, is more conducive for long-term NBA success. I'd rather have wings as compared to a point guard. I think go-to wings are just really under that category of players who you need to win a championship. Steph Curry might be the lone exception, but still, the Warriors still had very good wings. Klay Thompson, as well as Andrew Wiggins. So wings, so, so important. The basketball goat, Chase, I'm a pretty small channel, though. Yeah, but you're tuned in, you're subscribed, you're a supporter, and you're from Australia. So I'd like to chop it up. Good day, my brother. Going to be going live exclusively on Rumble for our After hour segment. Make sure you tune in. And for those of you tuning in right now for the first time, $43 away from $50 in Super Chats. We get there, and I'm shotgunning a beer. NBA country, let's get it. Let's ride. Let's get the $50 in Super Chats. Your donations greatly appreciated, and it allows us to do a lot. Get beer money. Get some food money. Continue to build the staff here at Chat Sports. Get those super chats in and also guaranteed to receive shout outs if you do send us super chats. Coming up next on NBA Now, keep it locked and loaded with us no matter where you are. Thank you so much for watching the show. Michael with the $5 super chat. Let's get to that. We'll also include it in the mailbag for in the future. Mr. Clean 99 with the $2 super chat. So now. We're at $14 in Supers, on the road to 50. Michael, five bones. Any updates on an NBA team to Seattle or the 2024 expansion teams? Michael, no updates as of now, but I think it's going to happen. Seattle, Las Vegas. Those are my two guesses right now for where expansion teams could go next for the NBA. We'll try to include that question in our mailbag as well, so you'll get another opportunity to join the show, and we'll talk more at length. Mr. Clean, $2, would it be smart to land LeBron James on the Cleveland Cavaliers? I think so. I think what's smart, though, see how you can maximize the roster this year, Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen, that core, but also keep that core intact because you'll be able to do that if LeBron James becomes a free agent in 2023. You don't have to give up any young assets in order to bring him in. So that's what I would do if I was Cleveland. Play out this year, 2022-2023, to see how close you can get. And let's say that you can be a top five team in the East, and then the Lakers are a dumpster fire once again because 
Russ doesn't play, Anthony Davis gets hurt. You think LeBron is going to want to go back to L.A. where he has no chance of winning a championship? If the future in Los Angeles is up in question, he might decide to go back to the Cavs. And you, if you can get him for nothing with an organization that's set to have around $30 million in free cap space in 2023, yeah, that right there is certainly tasty. Okay, as I said a little bit earlier, coming up next on the show, the top 30 2023 NBA free agents, as well as all the latest rumors on that front. Let's get to it right now. Coming up on NBA Now by Chat Sports, I'm your host, Chase Senior. Appreciate all of you for rocking and rolling with us on the program today. Going to take a look at the top 30 2023 NBA free agents. This list is as deep as it's ever been with star power, elite players, and legitimate key ingredients for a championship contender. Interesting NBA free agency rumors hovering right now around LeBron James, which players could get rookie max contract extensions, might only be two, in LaMelo Bull and Anthony. Anthony Edwards will touch on that, but first, do you love chat sports? If you do and you're a loyal subscriber, I want you to type real one because all of you who watch our content, take it in. Subscribe to the channel and your daily viewers of us, we just want to show you some love. First though, NBA Now, sponsored by Mint Mobile. They're changing the cell phone game with plans starting as low as $15 per month. You don't have to change your cell phone number, which is really important for a lot of us because we don't want to lose our contacts. You don't have to get a new physical phone with their digital eSIM cards to get signed up. You don't have to go to a physical store. Mint Mobile will send it to you. And it's a seamless process. Mintmobile.com slash chat sports. Start saving money today. So we're going to look ahead on today's show. This 2023 free agency class is one of the best, if not the best, free agency classes that we've really ever seen. And of course, this does depend on a couple of stipulations. Player options, restricted free agents, as well as looming contract extensions that could happen in the lead up to 2023 NBA free agency. So when we break down this list, just remember those talking points. Now, as far as these 30 top NBA free agents go, I've broken them down in a couple of different categories. We first take a look at the elite tier. It's truly elite. LeBron James, if he doesn't sign that max contract extension, he could become a free agent in 2023. Kyrie Irving opted into that player option, so only has one year remaining on that deal with the Brooklyn Nets. Draymond Green has a player option. So too does James Harden, Chris Middleton, and Fred Van Vliet, and Andrew Wiggins coming off a marvelous NBA Finals appearance from another team outside of the Golden State Warriors. They could try to pry him away with a deal checking in at about $200 million. So that right there is the elite tier. How about the starter tier? DeAndre Hunter, restricted free agent. Vooch with the Chicago Bulls, still a really good big, but is a little bit of a defensive liability. And last year in Chi-Town, a little bit underwhelming. Christian Wood was traded to the Dallas Mavericks. If it doesn't work out, he could become a free agent to hit the open market. Miles Turner has been one of the best shot blockers in the NBA for a long time. There will be teams vying for his services as a big who has value in today's NBA because he can also stroke the three ball. And then Tyler Hero a restricted free agent. As for the quality starter tiers, this is when we go deeper into this list. D'Angelo Russell, to me, he's like James Harden light. Pretty good in moments, not nearly consistent enough, and sometimes very maddening. R.J. Barrett is a blossoming superstar who has elite defensive ability and has gotten progressively better in each of his first couple of years since coming out of Duke as a first-round pick for New York. Jeremy Grant, Good two-way player. Now with the Portland Trailblazers, I think he's a really good addition aside from Damian Lillard because he gives that team what it was lacking, very good defense. Harrison Barnes, 3 and D player who can do even more and put the ball on the floor. Boyan Bogdanovich, about a 40% three-point guy. Kyle Kuzma redeemed himself last year with the Washington Wizards. Kristaps Porzingis, yeah, he continues to get hurt, but with the Wizards, I thought he actually played pretty good basketball. And Jordan Poole, he could get $100 million, maybe even more as a restricted free agent. From quality starters to the key ingredient pieces. These are guys who can really factor into being really good pieces on a playoff level team that can make a deep run in the postseason. Bogdan Bogdanovich. I love the lack of fear that he has. The guy is just fearless, playing in big games internationally and at the NBA level, never scared to rise up. Al Horford. 
He came out of nowhere last year in the playoffs with the Boston Celtics and was integral for the Celtics' success and still has some really good years in him. Seth Curry. His value could continue to rise because over the last couple of years, he's been one of the best, most consistent, and relied upon three-point shooters in the NBA. P.J. Washington, restricted free agent. Karis LeVert, really a one-way player offensively. Kevin Porter Jr., restricted free agent. A lot of ability, but a little bit of a mental head case at times. And then Reggie Jackson, Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Dylan Brooks, also on that list of key ingredient pieces. So too is Brandon Clark, Brooke Lopez, Matisse Thibel in three years has made two all-NBA defensive teams. Jay Crowder, a little bit older, but can knock down some threes, is a dog, gives you toughness and really good defense. Cam Johnson, I think he's underrated, really good young player. Josh Hart, the prototypical 3 and D guy nowadays. Nasir Little, restricted free agent. Jacob Pirtle, Gary Trent Jr., Will Barton, rounding out our list of the top 30 2023 NBA free agents. I said it a little bit earlier. This free agency class, it is deep, it has star power and a bevy of really, really quality players. Among that group, who do you think is the best free agent? Give me a name right now in the comment section and join the conversation. On the other end, free agency rumors pertaining to some of the big names on that list. First, though, today's show sponsored by Mint Mobile, changing the cell phone game and really flipping it on its head. In this period of inflation, a lot of people are trying to save money. Mint Mobile allows you to do that. And if you go to mintmobile.com slash chatsports, you'll see what I'm talking about. Unlimited premium wireless plans starting as low as $15 per month. That's not a misprint. I did not misspeak. $15 per month. Even your parents might start asking you to stop calling so much because you get unlimited talk and text. And oh yeah, by the way, on America's largest 5G network. It's a cell phone company owned by the famous actor Ryan Reynolds. Start saving money today on your monthly budget by heading to mintmobile.com slash chat sports. Now among those top 30 free agents, there is one headliner. That is LeBron James. Yes, he is set to be 38 years old in December, but last year he averaged nearly 30 points per game. He put his fingerprints on the game in a variety of ways, and he is still playing at an elite level. Last couple of years, injuries have started to creep up, but we know that LeBron James spends millions of dollars per year on his body, and he's going to do whatever he can do to stay on the floor consistently because he cares about his legacy, and his longevity is a big part of why he's one of the best NBA players of all time. Think about this. LeBron James entered the league in 2003 at 38 years old, still a top five player in this game. That's credit to him getting in the lag and keeping that body healthy. As for what's next for him, LeBron James eligible to sign a two-year, $97 million max extension with the Los Angeles Lakers. The two-year term is the max allowed under the CBA because he's a little bit older. If agreed to, LeBron James would bump up his career earnings to more than a half billion dollars at 532 mil. That would be the highest ever for any NBA player. As for a team to keep an eye on, a team who LeBron James knows very well, it's the hometown squad. The squad who we brought an NBA championship back to a couple of years ago, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's coming from Bobby Marks of ESPN. Until a LeBron James extension is signed in Los Angeles. The Cleveland Cavaliers should be a team to keep an eye on next offseason. Cleveland doubled its win total from two years ago to this past year, 22-42, to 42, and was one of the highest success stories last year despite losing in the play-in tournament. But if you remember before that, before they suffered injuries, they were even higher in the Eastern Conference standings. The Cavs have a strong nucleus consisting of first-time All-Star Darius Garland, the emerging Evan Mobley, the breakout player from last year and Jarrett Allen, and could have more than $30 million in cap space in 2023 with Kevin Love coming off the books. Would James return for a third tenure in Cleveland if he views the Lakers roster as not championship worthy? Bobby Mark said, keep an eye on it. Now, LeBron James is smart. He might have business ties in Hollywood. He might be locked in with a couple of production companies and productions in general. And of course, he has his own production company. But he knows what's at stake with his legacy. He has four championships right now. He's trying to chase Michael Jordan's six championships. He also knows that Steph Curry just won his fourth. Now they're tied. And they're battling it and duking it out as to who is going to be the best player of this generation. So LeBron, he knows about this. This is something that he's thinking about. And if he thinks that the Lakers are not well-equipped or well-positioned to compete for championships in the future, 
He could look to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He could be the headliner to get an expansion team kick-started in Las Vegas or maybe even Seattle. All of those things, things that we have to certainly consider moving forward with LeBron James. Now, where do you think he is among all of the best players of all time? Fill in the blank for me. This is the classic debate. He is a top blank player of all time. You let me know and let your voices be heard in the comment section. Lastly on the show, Rookie max contract extensions, the 2020 draft class eligible now for these max deals. Here's the thing. I don't think there's going to be a lot of movement on this front like there was this past offseason, led by Darius Garland and John Morant. The 2020 draft class could feature the fewest rookie max extensions in league history with only two. Yes, that's correct. Dose. Who are they? Lamella Ball. Anthony Edwards, two emerging studs in this league, and you take a look at what they did this past year, really, really good. LaMelo Ball, point guard. Anthony Edwards, the uber-talented and uber-athletic wing. Different players, both with extraordinarily high value. LaMelo, 20 points per game last year, much better rebounder and dish man with a little shy of seven rebounds per night, seven and a half assists. Shooting percentages, 43% from the field, and how about this for LaMelo Ball, almost 39% from downtown. More volume there for Anthony Edwards, who, again, has much more defensive potential, I think, as compared to LaMelo, more of that scoring wing, not the primary ball handler. That's why the rebounding number's down, assist number's down, but Anthony Edwards is a player who I think you can win a championship with as a bona fide number one. I'm not sure the same can be said for LaMelo Ball, but either way, in line for paydays. As for players who are Supermax eligible, that includes Jason Tatum, Pascal Siakam, and Fred Van Vliet. For Van Vliet, and I believe Pascal Siakam, if they're named to an all-NBA team, that changes how much they're eligible to get paid. But either way, Supermax eligible guys, Jason Tatum, Pascal Siakam, and Fred Van Vliet. If you had to pick a young buck between two of those two max eligible players in LaMelo and the Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, who would you pick to sign and build your franchise around? Give me an L for LaMelo or an A for the Ant-Man. Okay, we'll give you some shout-outs here. A couple of Super Chats to catch up on as well. We're halfway there to $50 in Super Chats. 26 bones. We get to 50. Bang, bang. I'm shotgunning a beer. NBA country. Let's ride. 343 people tuned in. Thanks to all of you for watching the program. Let's get you caught up on those Super Chats in the meantime and get those Super Chats in so that we get to 50. TJ, what do you expect with Nets owner Joe Sy and that Kevin Durant meeting. That's what we talked a, lot, uh, a little bit about earlier on on the show. I expect them to try to hash it out. I expect Kevin Durant to voice his displeasure with the Nets organization and any differences that he might have as compared to ownership and try to work things out to get him back on the team. If I'm Joe Sy, I want him back on the squad because I think that Sean Marks has done a good job of building up this team. The starting five is good. Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, Ben Simmons, Nick Claxton, the bench, really good. Patty Mills, Seth Curry, Royce O'Neal, TJ Warren. You kidding me? That's a top 10 roster in the NBA. Gold Eagle 99, $10 Super Chat. Bold predictions for 2022-2023. Zion Williamson will be top five in the MVP race. What say you, Chase? If he can stay healthy, he will be. When he was healthy two years ago, shot around 60% from the floor, 20 points per game, 10 rebounds, a couple of highlight real worthy dunks and block shots. The issue is an ability for Zion Williamson. Just has to stay healthy. Gold Eagle 99, the super chat before that, all the super chats that have come in. Cheers to that. Can I just interject here for two seconds? Go ahead. If your answer to this question is not one or two, what are you doing? Oh, wow. So LeBron James, top two of all time. Without a debate. Yeah, I think it's Michael Jordan, and I think it's LeBron James. And I think that LeBron, his longevity has to be in play here. I mean, the guy entered the league in 2003. So the fact that he's been great for this long, four NBA championships, all the all-NBA first teams, all of the all-star appearances, the fact that early in his career, he was probably robbed of a title or two because the best player on that team early in his career was Daniel Booby Gibson and Zadrunas Agalskis. Like, that's crazy. LeBron James has been just unbelievable. MJ's the GOAT. 
but I think LeBron is number two. So he's a top blank player of all time. A lot of people saying MJ the GOAT, Kobe Bryant ahead of him. Bankroll, bro said Kobe Bryant. Lakers fans still in delusion. MJ is the GOAT, Kobe is too. Bronny doesn't get a lifetime award for playing forever. But the production has been better than anybody for that long. So it's not a lifetime award for playing forever. It's not like he had 10 great years and then 10 bad years. He has been legitimately one of the best NBA players for that entire duration. Going to be doing another mailbag here on the show. Use the hashtag NBA or Super Chat us to get involved. Also, we'll be going live exclusively on Rumble after our YouTube and Rumble show wraps up. So make sure you join us. It's rumble.com slash NBA now. $50 in Super Chats. We're shotgun and beers. We're halfway there. More than halfway there if you do the simple math. $26 in Supers. We need 24 more to get the $50 in Supes. So let's get it. What are we doing here? Little Warriors talk coming up next. Going to talk to Michael Green, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and Jordan Poole. So keep it here for that. You ready to get to it? All right, let's talk about the Golden State Warriors right now on NBA Now. Golden State Warriors today is sponsored by Mint Mobile, changing the cell phone game with plans starting as low as $15 per month on America's largest 5G network. In addition to steady and consistent cell phone coverage, they'll send you a digital eSIM card so you don't have to go to the store to activate your phone. And speaking of your phone, you don't need to change your phone number. You don't get to... You don't need to get a new physical phone. Start saving money today with those plans starting as low as $15 per month by heading to mintmobile.com slash chat sports. We'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. So on the show today, talking a lot about the Warriors' future plans when it comes to Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and Jordan Poole, but also Jamichael Green. And this is where I want to start. Jamichael Green officially signed by the Golden State Warriors, and he had a lot of lofty things to say about him being basically persuaded by Steve Kerr and Draymond Green to go to the reigning NBA champions and not go to another team in the NBA. He probably could have made more money going to a different organization. Instead, though, Jamichael Green has decided to sign with the Golden State Warriors. That deal made official. And for Jamichael Green, it's actually a pretty interesting story. He was in Jamaica on vacation when his phone rang from Steve Kerr. And he took the call because he wanted to see, okay, who's calling me up to this point? And it was a little bit of a surprise. He expected to sign elsewhere. That's something that Jamichael Green had admitted. But then Kurt convinced him to join the Golden State Warriors player development program because Steve Kerr and Draymond Green thought that he could be a really good piece on this roster that is equipped to once again compete for an NBA championship. As for what he said about joining forces with the NBA champs, he said this about going to the Warriors. Steve Kerr told me that the Warriors were interested, that they wanted me here. They wanted me to be a part of their program. After talking to Steve Kerr, I couldn't tell him no. The organization and what they built over there, I'd love to be a part of it. And Draymond Green, as he's done over the last couple of years, has played the role of recruiter for the Warriors. And we always talk about this Warriors culture being intact. Yes, it's led by the most selfless superstar of all time in Steph Curry, but Draymond Green has been a critical ingredient of the Warriors culture as well. And this is where he enters the chat. Jamichael Green and Draymond Green, they've known each other since eighth grade AAU ho hoops. So Jamichael called Draymond Green to get his thoughts about Jamichael going to the Warriors. A little bit of confusing with this conversation going down between the Ju to the two greens, and it's even getting me twisted up. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. But here's what Green had to say about that conversation with Draymond. Draymond was just excited. We both know what we bring to the table, and we just had a good conversation about everything, and he made it easy for me to come to the Bay Area. Just come in and play hard. That's what Draymond told me. Be a dog. Do the dirty work. Help, help Draymond out with all that dirty work. Knock down shots and play some defense. I feel like if you come here and you handle your business, you set yourself up for life. 
And Jermichael is a really good player. He's basically going to be the Otto Porter Jr. replacement. I think Otto Porter Jr. may be the better defensive player, but Jermichael Green can play a little bit of four. He can stretch the floor. He can knock down some three-point shots. He can give you some defensive tenacity. The three-point numbers last year, down. And after he was bought out by the Oklahoma City Thunder, which allowed him to become a free agent, there were going to be teams who were interested in Jermichael Green because of all the things that he does well. The Warriors saw that. They don't have to pay a fat price for Jermichael Green to join forces with the Warriors. And because of that, I think it's a really good deal to bring him in. And he'll be competing for steady rotation minutes with the dubs. Now, if you're subscribed to us here at Golden State Warriors today, I want you to type real one in the comments section. We just embarked on the greatest run ever in the history of the channel with videos just popping off, and it wouldn't be possible without all of you tuning into the show. So type real one if you've been with us, if you like our content, and if you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, because we took a look at the analytics, a lot of people who have tuned in, as we reached more than 2 million people in the month of July, they weren't subscribed. So if you want to stay in the know with all things dubs and join forces with the best Warriors YouTube channel out there, hit that red subscribe button. Now, still to come on the show, free agency latest when it comes to Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and Jordan Poole. But as I mentioned off the top of the show, Warriors today, sponsored by Mint Mobile, unlimited premium wireless plan starting as low as $15 per month. And whether you're tuned in in America or worldwide, you probably know the face and the name of Ryan Reynolds, the famous actor who invested in Mint Mobile, and he owns the cell phone company. You can use your data however you like, even where coffee shops don't exist. And this is America's largest 5G network with unlimited talk and text. So if you want to start saving some cash, you can do so. Mintmobile.com slash chatsports. Sign up today. I'll put that link in the comment section in the description of this video. Now with the Warriors, they have financial decisions to make when it comes to paying Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, and Draymond Green. If they reach extensions with those aforementioned players, the salary cap number could reach astronomical levels. $400 million, and no team in the history of the NBA has come close. And for the second straight year, payroll for the Warriors expected to exceed $350 million in salary and tax penalties. $400 million, folks, it really is unheard of. But does Joe Lacob really care? If they continue to compete and win NBA championships, maybe he doesn't. Because at the end of the day, you drive ticket sales, you sell out the arena, you sell a bunch of jerseys out there, and you, continue, you can continue to be one of the best all-around rosters at the NBA level, and it doesn't really matter if you're entering that luxury tax because you're still gaining a massive profit. As for what Bobby Marks had to say about the future plans for Golden State, Green has two years left on his existing deal, which pays a little shy of $26 million this year with the $27.5 million option in 2023-2024. He can sign an extension this summer, but the rules of the CBA prevent him from signing a deal that would pay him less than what the option year currently pays in the first year of an extension. That means if the Warriors and Green entertain talks on a new contract this year, the first salary in 2023-2024 has to be at a minimum of $27.5 million if the player option is removed. There are no restrictions relating to declining salary beyond the first year of an extension. So a mouthful there when it comes to the math and some of those contractual figures, but we're trying to do our due diligence to educate you into what the Warriors are entering in terms of that financial window. And just some thoughts on this. Does Joe Lacob really care about the salary cap and the luxury tax? And what will he be willing to do? Will he be willing to give a big contract to Draymond Green and give Jordan Poole a potential max contract? There are going to be other teams who see and saw what Andrew Wiggins gave to this team throughout that playoff run, and they might offer him $200 million because of his, of his elite two-way ability. So Joe Lacob might want to keep this core intact, but also keep in mind, somewhere down the road, if Jonathan Kaminga becomes a star, the same can be said for Moses Moody, as well as James Wiseman, might have to pay those players as well. But again, I want to harp on this. If you're winning championships or competing for championships and you're selling out the arena every single night and your merchandise sales are as high as any team in the NBA, and there was a list released out there the other day of the most valuable NBA franchises, the Warriors are right up there 
with the New York Knicks and Los Angeles Lakers. So the money is coming in, and the money isn't a problem. It really just comes down to whether or not the Warriors are willing to pay that deep into the luxury tax. Now, I do want to pose this question because I want to challenge all of Dub Nation, and I like challenging the audience because all of you are great basketball minds. Who do you think is worth the most to the Warriors' success? DG for Draymond Green, JP for Jordan Poole, AG for Andrew Wiggins. Chime in. Let me know in the comment section. Want to see what you all come up with. And if you have any questions about the Warriors direction or you just want to talk Warriors hoops, hit me up on social media at Chase underscore senior. It's the same handle on both social media platforms on Twitter and IG. Not going to lie. If you mention me and at me on Twitter, it's probably the easiest way for me to respond because I'm able to see all of them. But either way, give me a follow at Chase underscore senior. And thank you so much for watching the show. Okay, another mailbag coming up, and then we'll talk about the Philadelphia 76ers, and then we'll round out on Rumble. Hashtag NBA, Super Chat. That's how you get involved in some of our mailbags. But if we get the $50 in Super Chats, then I will shotgun a beer. We're more than halfway there. 283 people watching live. $26 in Supers. So make sure you send us in a super chat, $50. We'll party it up. Going to be going live exclusively on Rumble for our after hours segment. You see the link down below, rumble.com slash NBA now. Make sure you join us there for exclusive content. Rumble.com slash NBA now. Let's get ready to rumble. $50 in total super chats. Yes, I will shotgun a beer. We are more than halfway there. $26. So it could all come to an end with one super chat. Either way, we do appreciate all of your donations. Doing another mailbag. All right, another mailbag coming up next on NBA Now. Get those questions in. Coop, you can filter in those super chats as well that came in and continue to come in. Mailbag time on NBA Now right now. This is NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Can't wait to start taking your questions on the show. First, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yes, we're bringing you the best NBA content year-round, but with NFL training camps here, NFL preseason officially underway. We're going to be pumping up our NFL content as well. So if you're an NFL fan, NBA fan, this is the place for you. YouTube.com slash TV or hit that red subscribe button right now. We begin this mailbag with the $5 Super Chat coming in from Michael. Greatly appreciate that donation. Any updates on an NBA team to Seattle or a 2024 expansion team? I think we're looking at two cities here, Michael, where NBA expansion teams could be made official. It's Seattle and it's Las Vegas. I think that makes the sense. Most sense, excuse me. For Seattle, it's the most viable option outside of Las Vegas because the fan base there, diehards, and the Supersonics should have never been taken out of Seattle. That fan base, one of the best in sports. And with Las Vegas, a booming and growing market, Las Vegas Raiders, they're working. Las Vegas Golden Knights, it's working. The Las Vegas NBA Summer League, record attendance numbers. It's a destination as well. And with sports betting and sports gambling continue to be really, really profitable, it makes a lot of sense for teams to go there as well as Seattle. Shay, one of our loyal subscribers, do you think the NBA is sleeping on the Chicago Bulls? No, I don't think so. I think the Bulls are properly rated. Throughout much of last year, they're one of the top teams in the East. They suffered a lot of injuries to Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, Patrick Williams. Missed a lot of time at the start of the year. Didn't really come back until late. Really good 3 and D player. But against legitimate competition, even when they were at full strength, they struggled a little bit. And then once they started suffering some of those injuries, just weren't the same team. I think they're a middle-of-the-pack team in the Eastern Conference. Defense concerns me a little bit. Appreciate that, Shea. Roberto, Sixers should trade Tobias Harris next offseason, then sign Chris Middleton. What do you think? I think that if you compare Tobias Harris and Chris Middleton, 
Chris Middleton is the better player. He's the better offensive shot maker, and he's a little bit more consistent. I think that in big games, he has also performed a little bit better than Tobias Harris. I do think this about Toby. He's become a little bit underrated over time, and as the salary cap continues to increase, that contract isn't as bad as it was when he first signed it, when he wasn't failing to live up to those expectations. But Chris Middleton is the better player. You trade Tobias, and you do free up a lot of money. It's between 30 and $40 million on that payroll for Philadelphia. And Roberto's asking this question because Chris Middleton is set to be a free agent in 2023. So we'll see what happens this year for the Sixers. It's a huge year for Philadelphia and Joel Embiid. If they crash and burn, they might make some big changes on that roster. Speaking of the Sixers, they're being investigated right now for tampering NBA looking into that deal signed with James Harden and why he took such a sizable pay cut. Do you think that NBA tampering matters? I don't think so. I'm typing my WC for who cares. If you disagree with me, type N, but explain why. Mr. Clean, $2 Super Chat. Would it be smart to land LeBron James on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, yeah, it would be smart. Yes, LeBron James is going to be 38 years old in December, but he averaged nearly 30 points per game this past year and is still a top five player in the NBA. Impactful guy on both ends of the floor, still dominant on some nights. Going to the Cavaliers would save his legs. It would save his energy. It would keep some gas in the tank. He wouldn't have to carry a team throughout the long, an arduous 82-game schedule. He plays 50, 60 games per year, hands the keys off to Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen. You're in a good spot if you're Cleveland. And if you wait for him to become a free agent, if he doesn't resign with the Lakers, then you don't have to give up your own assets to bring him in. TJ, Canadian currency here. What do you expect with the Nets owner Joe Tsai meeting with Kevin Durant? They're expected and reportedly meeting at some point this week to talk about these Kevin Durant trade rumors. So according to reports, Durant going to meet with owner Joe Tsai this week. He's still unhappy about a couple of things that have happened within that organization. Unknown whether the issues are going to get fixed or not, but if they do or don't, the Nets have put together a pretty good roster around Kevin Durant. Now, if you want a free... Uh, Subscription to Chat Sports, you just hit that red subscribe button down below. That's a great deal. You know what's also a really good deal? On top of getting free NBA content from us, the deals on these NBA jerseys, you can get them right now by heading to chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. Jerseys available for all 30 teams in the NBA and multiple styles available. City edition, regular home away, other alternates, all of these jerseys, too, by the way, coming from our friends at Fanatics. The Luka Doncic Old School Mavs jersey is always fresh. So get swagged up by heading to chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. That link available for you in the comment section and the description of this video. SM, big supporter of what we do here at Chat Sports. I like the Vin Scully profile picture. RIP to Vin, one of the greatest play-by-play -play broadcasters and storytellers that we've ever seen. How much cap space would the Lakers gain if LeBron leaves? A lot. A lot. Because he's on that max contract. So they free up a bunch of money. Now if Russell Westbrook leaves too, even more money. Because he's on that one-year deal with $47 million. Mark Dominican next up, if Christian Wood doesn't work out, should the Mavs bring back Kristaps Porzingis when he's a free agency in 2023? Mark, thank you for your question, but no. Luka Doncic played better basketball, in my opinion, without Kristaps Porzingis. KP, he did play pretty well with the Washington Wizards, but I can never count on him to consistently stay healthy. That right there is a problem in and of itself. Kristaps will probably demand a lot of money, and we've seen that Kristaps and Luka isn't a one-two combo that can lead you on a deep playoff run. So no, I'm going to say no to that, Mark. 30 racks. Hopefully you got those racks. If we don't trade Tobias Harris, do you think he'll be gone by the trade deadline? So you're talking about the Sixers here and if they trade Tobias Harris. It all depends on what the Sixers do. If the Sixers have a pretty good year, they're not going to trade Tobias Harris. If he ends up having a good year for him individually, they're not going to trade Tobias Harris. So I don't think he'll be gone at the deadline if 
he's playing good and the Sixers have a good roster and they're one of the best teams in the NBA, if they're struggling a lot, they could look to upgrade that roster and tinker with it a little bit. Blaze 2K, is Ben Simmons a bust for the number one pick or is he severely underrated? Ben Simmons is still a multi-time all-star. Ben Simmons is still one of the best defensive players in the NBA, first team all defender. The last full season that he played, is he a liability shooting the basketball? Is he a liability offensively? Yes, you can say that. You can make that argument because the last time we saw him, he looked petrified to be on the floor for a playoff series. But Ben Simmons still has a lot of value. He does a lot of things at an elite level. Defense, passing, still things offensively and defensively that he can do as good as anybody out there, guarding some of the best wings at the NBA level. So... I think he's properly rated right now just because we haven't seen a lot from him. Is he a bust for the number one pick? I don't think so. It's way too early. Now, I do want to ask you this, talking about the Nets. Where do you think the Nets would rank among all teams with KD and Kyrie? Rank them for me from 1 to 30 right now in the comment section. Zenois, any more thoughts on the Cavs' current roster? Can they still contend at this point even without Bringing in LeBron James in the future, I feel like there's a lot of young talent. Any thoughts? I agree. Cavaliers roster is really good. Darius Garland, Jarrett Allen, Evan Mobley leading the charge. I mean, you even have Ricky Rubio as a backup point guard. I like what they've done in the draft over the last couple of years. You don't have LeBron, but you still should make it to the playoffs. There's no question about that. Jonathan Taylor. Good running back for the Colts. Might be the best in the NFL going into 2022. What do you think about the idea of KD for Lonzo, DeMar, Ayodesumu, and Picks? No, it's not going to happen because of the future in question for Lonzo Ball. That's a big concern. Some people are worried about Lonzo never coming off that knee and dream being the same player anymore. So that already damages your trade value. Uh, for DeMar DeRozan, he's a good player, but he doesn't really move the needle for KD. I would assume good, but a young player going into a big year too. Picks, cool, but again, you got to find another replacement there for Lonzo Ball. The Gold Eagle 99, $10 super chat, bold predictions for 2022-2023. Zion Williamson will be a top five guy in the MVP race. What say you, Chase? I like it. Under this thought that Zion Williamson has to be healthy. He has to be healthy in order for him to be in that MVP conversation. And the last time that we saw Zion playing healthy basketball, he was amazing. 20 points per game, 60% from the field, really good defense at times. Although I want to see him become a better defensive player and more consistent on that end. He could do things better, but my goodness, he's just a dominant force. So if he's healthy, and the Pelicans are, let's say, a top four, top five team in the Western Conference, he'll be considered in that MVP race. It just has to stay on the floor. If I missed any of your questions throughout this mailbag, feel free to hit me up on social media, at Chase underscore Senior on Twitter and Instagram. You give me a mention on Twitter, I'll be able to see it. You hop in the DMs, I'll do my best to respond, at Chase underscore Senior. Do that right now. Going to talk Sixers, and then we'll go live exclusively on Rumble for our after hour segment, rumble.com slash NBA now. Let's get it. $24 away from $50 in Super Chats. When do we get there? I'll shotgun this Michelob Ultra. We can get there with one Super Chat. Just has to be $25. Bucks. That's the deal that we put in place. A combined 50 bones and we'll get to $50 in Super Chats for a shotgun and beers. Who's going to do it? Who's going to get there? Who's going to be the real one? Let's go. I'm seeing bankroll from Sexy Hot Siren. Bankroll. We're trying to add to that chat sports bankroll because your support goes a long way. <clears throat> About to talk Sixers. Let me just take some water down here. Been talking for an hour and a half straight. All right, ready to talk Sixers? All right, let's talk some Sixers right now on NBA Now. 
This is Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Hope all of Philadelphia is having a great week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so right now for the best Sixers coverage. Hit that red sub button down below or head to youtube.com slash 76ers TV. A lot to get to on the show today. We first want to get you caught up on everything going down on the tampering front with Philadelphia. The Sixers right now under investigation for tampering after James Harden took that big pay cut. Harden's pay cut did pave the way for Philly to sign and bring in P.J. Tucker as well as Daniel House. Really big players for what the Sixers want to do this upcoming year and accomplish. And what I also thought was interesting, and when my antennas started kind of monitoring the situation here, is during that weekend in which James Harden, on the first weekend of NBA free agency, didn't sign that deal, he was set to meet with the organization in the Hamptons. That's where Michael Rubin was hosting that all-white party with the who's who of celebrities, and that was somewhat curious at the time because Michael Rubin was on hand for those negotiations, but he gave up his ownership stake because it was a conflict of interest with fanatics continuing to grow. So right there, I was like, okay, here we go again. Adam Silver going to try to put the hammer down and launch this tampering investigation, and it is still underway. As for what Doc Rivers had to say about these allegations, talked about this on Vince Carter's new show, you handle it because it's not true. So he's in denial mode here. I mean, honestly, when James Harden did this and said this, we didn't know what we were going to do and the money that we were getting. And listen, James won too because James could have opted in for a one-year deal instead. Instead, he signed for three years. We gave him that three-year contract, and the parties won in a lot of ways. And listen, it worked out for us. It worked out for James. This is not something at all. I guarantee you Daryl Morey had no idea what James was going to do. I remember talking to him on the eve, and he was like, hey, I'm not sure. We have five hours left. That was Daryl Morey. He had no idea, honestly, really. We just believed that James was not going to opt in, that he was going to try to do a longer-term deal, but I didn't no, and I can tell you that that is for sure. So I'm not sure what the NBA investigation is going to entail here. Are they going to take Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers' phone to see if they were sending out secretive texts in the lead-up to free agency? Hey, James, opt out, take less. We'll give you some fanatic stock on the side from Michael Rubin. Then we'll be able to sign P.J. Tucker, Daniel House, and build out the peripheries of this roster. I just want to know. What does this investigation entail, and how can they find the Sixers guilty? And what the NBA did last year, I thought was stupid. They docked the Bulls, and what was the other team? The Heat draft picks. So you impacted your coverage of the NBA draft by taking away draft picks instead of 60 selections. It was only 58. That didn't matter. Make it a fine, and at the end of the day, who cares about tampering? I don't. Do you? Let me know in the comments section. M for matters. WC for who cares. Any business at any level tampers to a certain degree, and it makes the product for the NBA even better. So I want to hear from you in the comment section right now. That'll be the pinned comment for today's show. If you get hit with that YouTube ad break, just scroll on down and get your votes in. Before we get to this Tobias Harris trade idea to the Utah Jazz. Let's check in on James Harden. So he recently spoke and said Philadelphia is where he wants to be, looks to be in better shape during these offseason workouts. He played well at Rico Hines' first summer run at UCLA. Rico Hines, formerly an assistant with the Sacramento Kings, now an assistant with the well-respected Toronto Raptors. And Harden looked a little bit slim. He was hitting some knockdown three-pointers, getting to the rack. That is a good sign for him going up against other NBA talent. When asked about staying in Philadelphia, he said, this is where I want to be. This is where I wanted to go. This is where I want to be, Harden said. This is where I want to win. And I think we have the pieces to accomplish that goal, Harden said. From my first day with the Sixers organization, the team and the fans have helped me feel at home here in Philadelphia. And him returning back to some semblance of the form of James Harden that we saw at the Houston Rockets, I'm not asking him to be a 30 points per game guy. What I am asking him to do is to get in better shape. He becomes a better, more consistent shooter, offensive player. It makes the Sixers a lot more dangerous. And even if he's like the third or fourth offensive option, and you have Joel Embiid, Tyrese Max leading the charge, that's okay. I just don't want to see playoff flameouts. I don't want to see playoff no-shows. And I don't want to see him come into camp in terrible shape. 
has to be in better shape. And so far this summer, it looks as though that is the case. Now, if you're a loyal subscriber of what we do here on Philadelphia 76ers now, as we've, as we've been able to grow immensely over the last calendar year, I want you to type real one in the comment section right now because we greatly appreciate all of your support. YouTube.com slash 76ers TV or hit that red subscribe button. Real one. If you're a loyal subscriber, if you haven't subscribed, do so right now. As for that trade idea that includes Tobias Harris, it's a deal between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Utah Jazz. This trade thrown out there by Bleacher Report. And I wanted to discuss it because it's interesting on a couple of levels. For what it does for the Sixers right now, but also the financial wiggle room that it gives this organization in the future. So this trade, 76ers receive Boyan Bogdanovich and Patrick Beverly. The Jazz received Tobias Harris, Matisse Thybul, a 2029 first round pick, and then second round picks in 2023 and 2024. What the Sixers accomplish with this trade, they erase the base salary for Tobias Harris and wipe it off the books for 2023-2024 of $39.3 million. What does that allow Philadelphia to do? Allows them to target a big time free agent like LeBron James, maybe even Chris Middleton, if they decide to go all in, push their poker chips to the middle of the table, and maximize this roster around Joel Embiid if things don't work out. Also, Bogdanovich and Beverly, somewhat intriguing pieces. I would like to hold on to Tobias Harris and Matisse Thibel because I think it makes the roster better, but Bogdanovich and Beverly are on expiring deals. So you don't have to worry about their contracts moving into the future. You don't have to worry about Toby's deal. And in the immediacy, you get shooting, you get defense, and you get another dog. Bogdanovich is about a 40% three-point guy. He doesn't play good defense, but Patrick Beverly gives you that. Gives you that dog mentality for a team that I believe has been a little mentally fickle when it comes to the rigors of NBA playoff basketball. And I wouldn't make the trade because I think Harris over time has become somewhat underrated. And I think that Matisse Thibel, if he's able, and I'm a little bit hopeful here, if he's able to knock down consistent three-point shots, he can be a very valuable rotational piece at the NBA level. So I'd probably pass on that trade, but Bogdanovich and Beverly are really good players, and if it gives you financial wiggle room going into the future to make a big splash in free agency, that right there a little bit appealing from a fiscal standpoint. So let's look at the trade one more time. Sixers receive Bogdanovich as well as Patrick Beverly. The Jazz receive Tobias Harris, Matisse Thibel, that first round pick in 2029, and then second round picks in 23 as well as 24. Who wins the deal? I want to hear from you, 76 for the Sixers, UTA for the Jazz. Get that comment section popping and sound off what you think. And if you have any questions about what we do here at Chat Sports, what I do for my professional life, any questions about the Sixers, life advice, feel free to hit me up on social media, at Chase underscore Senior. Would love and appreciate all of your follows on both Twitter and Instagram. It's the same social media handle on both platforms. Okay, done talking about the Sixers, and we will talk. Kevin Durant maybe going to the Grizzlies next, but here's the deal. We're only going to be doing it on Rumble. More Super Chats came in, so we're $22 away from $50 in Super Chats. Here's the deal. If we don't get any more Super Chats over the next two minutes, we're going to go live exclusively on Rumble. We get the $50 in Super Chats. I shotgun a beer. So if we get more Super Chats, then I reset the clock. No more Super Chats. We go live exclusively on Rumble. You see the link down below, rumble.com slash NBA now. $22 away, by the way, to $50 in Supers. We're trying to get there with Rogue Brothers. Should the Clippers trade for Conley and Turner? No. You signed, uh, signed John Wall. So you do not need to trade for Mike Conley. And for Miles Turner... You brought back Zubats, so you don't really need to trade for Turner, plus he's really expensive, and he's going into the final year of his deal. So, there you go. Appreciate it, Rogue Brothers. I know you always tune in to all of our shows. Rogue Brothers, I don't have the money to send anymore. Sorry, Chase. It's all good, Rogue Brothers. If you're broke, don't send in supers. But if you do, we do appreciate that. Approaching one minute left... No more supers, and we'll go live exclusively on Rumble to talk about a mystery team 
that could swoop in in the Kevin Durant sweepstakes. One minute left on the shot clock. No more Super Chats. We'll sign off. Also, my boy Marshall Green, he's crushing on New York Knicks now. 400 people watching live over there. Good job by Marshy. Looking at the chat, Sam, bankroll, sexy, rogue brothers, Raymond, the gold eagle. Who else? SM is here with the Vin Scully picture. Good job by you. Bankroll. Clippers were better last year without their stars. I don't think so. You get back Kawhi and Paul George and that team becomes very, very interesting. Okay, we reached the two-minute shot clock duration, so we're going to sign off here on YouTube. Thanks to all of you for joining us, but we're not done. We're just going over to Rumble for our After Hours segment exclusive content. Let's get ready to Rumble. Rumble.com slash NBA now. Plug in that link and join us right now. We're signing off on YouTube, so peace.